Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is a very brief description of one of my hour-long lectures in song. My mama done told me when I was in knee pants. My mama done told me, son. That's me playing, talking, and singing about some great personality or significant aspect of American popular song. This time, Johnny Mercer. He was one of the very few songwriting giants of his era not to be Jewish or come from New York City. On the contrary, Johnny Mercer was mostly old American wasp stock, hailing from Savannah, Georgia. Early on, his visible perch on radio gave him a place to stand out as a southern boy, dropping his G's as he delivered his flawless lyrics with a perfectly pitched singing voice. Hollywood and Tin Pan Alley in the Big Band era would allow him to show off his polished sophistication in collaboration with some of the greatest composers of the day, Carmichael, Whiting, Warren, Kern, Arlen, Ellington. On the side, he would co-found Capitol Records and perform regularly on radio, then on television. In the 60s, he teamed with Henry Mancini, writing incidental songs for classy non-musical films, some of his best work, Moon River most memorably. Never really attuned to Broadway, he excelled at writing superb songs one at a time rather than whole scores. The sheer number of immortal standards bearing his name would be the envy of nearly every one of his great contemporaries. He was the gap-toothed, grinning country boy with the great voice and a way with fashioning song lyrics that made no less than Oscar Hammerstein the second marvel that he was, quote, the most perfect American lyricist alive, American, pure American. Nuff said, just too marvelous for words, Johnny Mercer. To engage me for this or any other lecture and song, please visit fredmillermusic.com from where you can contact me and review the entire series of more than 70 different lectures and songs. Thanks for watching. I look forward to hearing from you.